next comedian? All right, bring him to the stage, Jason Hathorne. Clap it up, Jason Hathorne. Cut that. That's my jam, just in case y'all ain't know. That's my jam. I know what y'all thinking. You don't do abs at all. No, I don't do abs. Shoulders and chest. That's all I do, shoulders and chest. Now, I'm from Mississippi, and I know y'all think you country Mississippi, boy. Mississippi. Date your sister. Actually, it's my cousin. But anyway. So, I got a poem, so y'all got some culture. It's called Child Support. I ain't got it. So anyway, I see a brother say, if only it was that easy. If only it was that easy. So anyway, uh, growing up, I was what you call the spoiled kid. You know what a spoiled kid is, right? I ain't got no respect for nothing. I want what I want. So my mama, me and my mom, we was in the living room. Now, she was in the recliner. For those of you who are not black, a recliner is the leave me the hell on chair. So... <laughs> So she was on the phone. Now, help me out, people, all the black people, don't talk when what? Grown folks talking. So, so I'm like, I did it, I did it slow, I did it slow. I said, hey, mom, I'm hungry, can you feed me some food? Now, people that ain't black, let me help you out. Your mama gonna give you a warning. It's gonna be something like this. What the hell, I'm on the phone. I should have heeded that warning, but I was spoiled. I forgot that my mama was the youngest of seven and she grew up in the hood. So, I said, hey, mom, I'm hungry. Get in the kitchen and fix me some damn food. Yeah, I said it. Now, after I woke up from my coma, <laughs> I realized you're not hungry when you sleep. And she did feed me. It was a right hand. It was real quick. You know what I'm saying? It was a jab. She knocked me out with a jab. Can you believe that? So, so I'm getting older now. Getting old, I'm 32. 32. I look good, don't I? Look like I'm 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, I heard somebody divorced in the house. Holler at me. I love divorced women. Woo, all y'all want is fun and, uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, uh, getting older and, you know, my body's changing. You know, my chest used to be higher. These used to be pecs. Apparently, I have titties, according to my family. <laughs> my family like, you need a bra. I was like... Well, at least it's a sports bra. These are athletic titties, you feel me? These athletic, these titties are athletic, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, not only has my body changed, but my mind has changed also. So I don't go for young women in their 20s, because y'all still got hope. And you still... <laughs> y'all still got hope, and y'all still think the world is your oyster. <laughs> I like older women. Older women realize that life's about give and take, sacrifice. So you might have a guy, cooks, cleans, treats you nice, pay the bills, but he cock at it. <laughs> I say he cock at it, you know? So he cock at it. Women that's older realize you might have a man that's cock at it. Pigeon toed, blind, fat, bad breath, but he pay them bills and he lays it down, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, y'all like that one, then. Y'all like that one. Speaking of that, yeah, so I had a run in with a younger girl. I was at this club, and um, I was sitting in a chair. And uh, this woman, typical, typical woman thing, hate to see a man comfortable, said, Hey, total stranger, I don't know her now. Said, Hey, can I sit in your chair? Now I'm thinking, You want me to be uncomfortable so you can be comfortable? So I had to hit her. I had to hit her, brother, so I hit her with something good. I said, Look, you know, y'all women have fought so hard for equality that I would hate to violate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can, I can tell older women that, and they can take that on the chin. Young girls, you would have been hurting your feelings. How could he say that? Another thing I, older women to take on the chin. I had this girl come over my house, and, uh, you know, we did, we did the thing. You know what I'm talking about, player? We did the thing. And uh, it was about that time. So I was like, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out how I can kick her out of my house. I said, uh, she said, I can leave. You want them to? I said, yes. That sounds like a good idea. 
So she hit me with some. She hit me with some. Um, she tried to be slick. My legs went to sleep. So I said, "You better wake them things up and get up out this door." <laughs> so anyway, you know how I got out of my house? I said, "This is how people fall in love now." She said, "Oh, time to go. I don't fall in love." Guess what she was? Divorced. She was divorced. What a divorced person is. She was divorced. That's why I like older women. They realize they're taking on the chin. We still talking to this day. You know what I'm saying? Occasionally, but um. One thing I got to tell you is, uh, not only do I have a, a one parent that can fight, I have another parent that can fight. So my dad, right? Anybody remember they first whooped me? Anybody remember they first whooped? Just me? Just me? You were messing up, wasn't you? You were messing up. So what happened was, I got whooping over crying over a girl. So, uh, so this girl pulled up, this older girl, like my baby said, she pulled up, and she rubbed my hair. She rubbed my hair. Now rubbing my hair is the equivalent to rubbing my as a kid, you know what I mean? So she rubbed my hair, I started blushing. All of a sudden, I go to the backyard, all of a sudden, my brother sits in the car. So I'm crying, uh, throwing stuff. My dad come out and say, hey, what you crying for? And I wouldn't tell him. So he came up with a bright idea to whoop me. That's exactly how to find out how some white somebody crying, right? Give him something else to cry about. So he whoops me. And uh, after the whooping, I tell him, you know, Tommy got in the car with Sheila. And he looked like I hit him in the head with a brick. You crying over a broad? Now, I was born in 89, I still don't know what a broad is. Can somebody help me out? I'm just not figuring this out. So, let me tell you about karma. Karma, God and karma is funny. So my dad, you know, years later my mom divorced him, right? So he sitting in the chair with the divorce papers. Somebody say it, crying, right? So I'm around the back and I'm like this. Let me make sure y'all can see me. Oh, yes. I'm like, hey, bo hey, Bops, I know you ain't crying over a broad, is you? Man, my dad slapped the hell out of me, man. He slapped five from me. Shoot. I am still got it on my side. You see that mark? But anyway, so, so anyway, I think my stuff is coming down to a close. Um, I got to bring something else to y'all attention that y'all didn't know. Now, number one, yes. My hair is curly, yes. I got some Caucasian in my family, yes. This is curly, natural, this is natural curls. Number two, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, because I take out to my mama, my mama's pretty. Uh, number three, I have no neck. Um, if you find it, let me know. As a matter of fact, I think my dad slapped it off when he knocked the hell out of me laughing at him about the divorce. Hey man, that's my time, y'all been cool, man. Peace. Jason Hathorne.